Greetings, this is the Insomniac GM, and today I'm going to talk about Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition. Now, in my last video, or my video last week, on Chill and Crypt World, I mentioned Call of Cthulhu. And I should let you know this is one of my favorite RPGs. If you can't tell with a lot of the ones I do play, um, although I don't talk about them as much, I am a huge, huge horror buff. I am huge into horror role-playing games. And I, I want to say this is probably one of my favorite horror role-playing games, but I don't know. It's kind of hard for me. <laughs> I haven't gotten to play Dread yet, and I haven't gotten to play um, Vassen yet, but um, for right now, this is probably my favorite horror role-playing game until I play one of those. So, in Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition, um, it's a percentile game, and it's based off of the works of H.P. Lovecraft. Now, in the game, like I mentioned in the Chill and Crypt World video, you, your players, the investigators, they are trying to slow down the success of the monsters, the great old ones. You know, Cthulhu is going to wake up one day. You can't stop the fact that he will wake up one day. What you can do is you can stall him from waking up. He may wake up in a hundred years, or he may wake up today. <laughs> That's up to your players. Now, how this game works is it is a skill-based game. And what you do is you take your percentile dice and let's say fire, I don't wanna do firearm. Let, let's say a library, library use. So you're gonna roll a D100. So I got a 30. That's under 50, I succeed. Now if your DM or your, um, why can't I think of what it's called? Your game master. If they end up telling you it's a hard or I believe it's a severe roll, you use one of these other numbers. So if I would have gone to the next difficulty, I got a 30, I would have failed. If I went with the lowest possible one, that was a 10. Now, let's say I go with, I have the 25 for my success. Now, I have 30 luck. I can subtract 5 luck from this to lower this roll by 5 luck, and I would succeed. So if I ever got to make a luck roll, now I need to make a 25 or lower. In that case, I got a 10, I would succeed. But your low, your luck would go down as you use it. Um, now, with Call of Cthulhu, it's a much more lethal game. You're, you have very few hit points, and things can bring you down very fast. Um, like, I have... I have a story where, like, one of my players just cut... We had to keep bringing him in new characters because he was charging in and he was, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, now, another thing with Call of Cthulhu, you have your sanity. Now, as your sanity drops, you can get um, some, um, like, phobias or whatnot. Um, now, another thing, if you lose too much sanity, you could, your game master could tell you to roll an intelligence check, and you want to fail this check. So, like, I got a 90, I got a 69, I would have succeeded that roll. So, because of that, my character would 
go like crazy insane. I'd get some phobia for the rest of my life. Um, you have magic points you can use for spells. Um, personally, I've never actually used them whenever in Call of Cthulhu. But um, yeah, but this game, it's pretty simple. It's once again, a skill based game. All you do is you just roll your skills and as you play them, you know, say you're running a campaign and let's say I succeed in law, I mark it and at the end of the session, roll D100, I got a 41 for my law. Um, so I would have succeeded that roll and uh, you want to fail it. And because I didn't fail that roll, my law would not go up. But there's not a whole lot to say with this RPG. It's pretty simple. You can go online and you can find a ton of pre-generated characters. That's what I do. That's what this is. And just print them out and just give them to your players and run one shots with them. Um, I love doing that. Because I've noticed with players, if you end up giving them a pre-generated character and you give it to them, they're not as upset if they end up dying. Um, I mean, because they're not putting in all the hard work to make the character. You know, that Call of Cthulhu um, one shot I told you about, I think that player... It got to three different characters, and, um, yeah. <laughs> he, luckily, he was not mad. He got a good laugh out of it. We all got a good laugh out of it, but, um, yeah. So, now, another thing with Call of Cthulhu is, let me see if I can find it. And this part's for the Game Masters, or I can't remember what it's called. I'm so sorry. But for this, when it comes to monsters, okay. Let's go with the, the duel, just because it's going to be crazy if a DM sends that after somebody, so I don't see it being in too many games. So, let's say the DM sends a duel after the player. Or dull. Um, and say it goes to attack the player. Now, the dull can end up attacking one time. So, what we do is we roll for the dull's attack. So, I've got a 36. I need to get under a 2,525 to succeed. I'm pretty sure a 36 is under that. <laughs> now the player needs to roll either a dodge to counter it, that's lower and is within 50 or lower, or they can choose to attack and try to beat the duel's attack. So, in this case, the player got a 57. They do not beat a 36. So if the stole ended up attacking, uh, I'm sorry, not 270, 2,725. Fighting would have been a 30%. So it would have failed. But in this case, let's say it actually did end up hitting successfully. Um, by a train, if a doll crushes. Oh, so a player needs to roll a luck roll. And if they failed, then they die. <laughs> Instantly. Now, this, like I said, this game is pretty, pretty lethal. But. 
This this monster I went with was just crazy stupid, but yeah, I feel like when it comes to Call of Cthulhu, you can easily run this game without even really looking at the monster stats. This game is not made for combat, it's made for investigating, you know, and you don't really, I mean, sometimes you do, but you don't really encounter the monsters till like the end. And when you do, that's when uh, that could be the end of your character. <laughs> if you ever got a fight, something went wrong. <laughs> So, but there's plenty of the videos where people can um, talk way better on this game than I can. Um, I try to talk about things that people normally don't talk about. I know people talk about D&D and Pathfinder, but I go with older editions or d and is more popular. So I try to bring more attention to things D&D can take, but... When it comes to Call of Cthulhu, I only bring it up because I do love this game and I hope to play it more often. So, well, if you got any good stories from when you played Call of Cthulhu, I would love to hear it in the comments. I, I love hearing stories people have from their game times. And maybe I'll talk about one in the past from the past. Till next time, take care.